Hi Excellers, welcome to another How to Excel at Excel video tutorial. I use the... Today we're going to look at another formula and it's going to be the COUNTIF formula. And we're going to use it today to find out how many salespeople in our sales data here have above average sales, specifically in quarter one. So let's go ahead and find out what the actual average sales are. Now we could just go ahead and select this, select our quarter one sales and just look at the bottom here and it gives us some ready reckoners here. So we've got average count of how many records and the sum of our selected cells there. So the average is 166,018 euro and 55 cent. Well, I just want to pop this straight onto the spreadsheet so I've got a, a permanent record there. So let's go ahead and use Excel, calculate the average. Yeah, as we expected, 166,000 and 18 euro and 55 cent. So what we want to do is we want to do is count how many of these sales reps actually have above average sales for that quarter. Really quick calculation. Um, probably quite easy when you have a really small data set, but you know we could have we could have hundreds of sales reps all over the country. So using COUNTIF, uh, we can do that really quickly. So let's really quickly just have a, a look at what the COUNTIF function does in Excel. Now if we just go ahead and type in equals or we can use the insert function here and start typing. Excel will give us a range of functions available starting with count. Let's select count if. So what count if does is it takes a range and we'll count the number of cells within that range that meet a specific criteria. Now the criteria can be a number, an expression, a cell reference, text, and it will define the cells in the selected range that are going to be counted depending on that criteria. So that's the syntax of the formula. So let's go, let's go ahead and build the formula now. So we want to use count if and the range of cells is D5 to D15. Next, we want to specify the criteria. Now we want to look at above average. So let's go ahead and say, okay, Excel, you give me above average of the same range. Close parentheses and again, and hit enter or return. There we have it. We have got two salespeople that have above average sales. Above sales of 166,000 and 18 euro and 55 cent. So there we have it. Really quick, easy way to count how many people have above average sales in quarter one of our sales data. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment. Sign up for the How to Excel at Excel newsletter for three free tips every 15 days. And I'll see you next time for another, for another How to Excel at Excel video.